Shoveling snow by hand is time consuming and often tough on your back. Using a snowblower makes things much quicker and easier, but it comes with risks. Since 2003, there's been 9,000 Americans who have injured their hand from a snowblower. And most of the times, these are amputations. Dr. Sanj Kakar, a Mayo Clinic orthopedic hand and wrist surgeon, says many of those injuries happen when the chute gets clogged with heavy, wet snow and people stick their hand in the machine to unclog it. But he says most people don't realize you can still injure your hand even when you turn the snowblower off. It still actually captured that kinetic rotational energy in the system, so the snowblower is actually off. And so you think you're safe, but you put your hand in there, but that energy is still stored in the machine, and as soon as you clear the snow or a rock, it captures your hand with the glove and pulls it in and causes your injury. That's why he says the safest thing to do if your snowblower gets clogged is to go back to the old-fashioned snow shovel to finish clearing the driveway. For the Mayo Clinic News Network, I'm Ian Roth.